Okay, so here we have uh, our Dakin air source heat pump in a fault mode, broken down effectively. It's flashing here, the red light. It's giving us a fault code here and the eye in the spanner. So it tells us that the unit is there's something wrong. Um, I'm not working. So I'm going to explain how you reset this in the hopes that uh, it will start up again um, before an engineer is called effectively. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the pressure in the heating system. Okay, so that's uh, this way. So what we're looking for is this a gauge you will find somewhere like this and we're looking for the pressure to be where the red mark is there. There's a good chance with this fault, because I've deliberately made it fault, but there's a good chance that the pressure has dropped off, i.e. the radiators have been bled etc and the system hasn't been topped up. So in order to top it up we're looking for this here, heating a filling loop. So what we need to do is open this one and then when we open this one the black needle will rise here. Now we need to have it more or less where the red one is. This is about right at the moment but I'll just do that. You can see it goes up a little bit. So we basically put a little bit more pressure in the system. And that's fine, a little bit above is no problem. Turn these two back off. Our next step is to walk out to the unit outside and reset it and this one should reset the unit. Okay. Okay, so outdoor unit, we have a rotary isolator here. What we're going to do is we're just simply going to turn that off. We're just going to give it a few seconds and then we're going to turn it back on again and then we can go back to the Dakin control panel and see if that has reset it. So as you can see, it's, there's no flashing anymore. The fault has gone away. Pump has started to run. So the system is coming back up. So if you have this problem with your heat pump, check the pressure, go outside, turn the power off to the outside unit, wait 10 seconds, power it back up. Most of the time it will work again. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're just going to do a brief description of how to set the time on your Dakin controller. It's a fairly simple operation. First of all, this button here, press and hold for around about five seconds until the display flashes. There we go. So we adjust the time with the timer buttons, which is this one. Okay, so we move this to the correct time. As you can see, it's a bit quite quick sometimes. So 10 past three, we're happy with the with the time. And then we're looking at the Thursday of the day. That's done with these two buttons here. So we can go scroll through the days. So it's Thursday, it's 10 past one. When we're happy with the time of the day, to confirm, press the done button and let go. We have now set the time on our Dakin controller. Okay, so just a brief description of how to set the times for the hot water on your Dakin controller. So first of all, we press the diamond button once and let go. You can see it's flashing the sun for the heating. We're not going to be setting the heating on here. We want the hot water, so we press this one here. And you can now see that the hot water symbol is now visible. When it's visible, back and press the diamond button. The day that we're trying to program the hot water for is Monday. Happy, we press once more. And it tells us what our first timed action is. It's already set up this programmer, but to adjust the times, 
press and hold the diamond button and then it starts to flash as you can see. Then use the timer button here to adjust to whatever time we want the, the water to come on, so five o'clock. If we're happy with that we then press the diamond button and this is the time that it will go off. So we then adjust the time we want it to go off. We're happy with six o'clock and we then have to press this button here and see what it says off. When we're happy with that, we press it again. And this is going to be our next on time for the hot water, which is at five o'clock in the afternoon. Again, if you want to change it, use this one. When you're happy, press and let go. And this is the time that it goes off. Press to the time you want it to go off. You then have to press this button so that off appears here. And when you're happy, this is our, all the timing we need. We press and hold the diamond button and the word setting will appear here. There we go. And that's that one done. What you'll see now is it's moved automatically on to Tuesday. So we can do exactly the same again. We can adjust the time to whatever we want, decide which one. So we're going to press and hold. Okay, so we're flashing, so we can change the time to whatever we like. We're happy with the on, press that one. Then change to what we would like. Make sure it says off. If it doesn't, you press that one. Press the diamond button again. Our next on time, five o'clock. We can adjust it to whatever we like. And when we're happy, press the diamond button, let go. And then adjust the time to whatever we would like. Make sure that it says the off down here by pressing this one. And then when we're happy, press and hold the diamond button in until you get a setting appear. There we go. And you can see it's now gone on to Wednesday. Now obviously we've set all the days up right the way through the week to what we would like, but if you wanted to carry on, just continue pressing the buttons shown earlier in the video. When you're finished, this button here is the back button. So we will press this and it will take us back, press it again, press it again, we're now back to our normal screen. The timer symbol here tells us that the hot water timer is active. If we are going on holiday, maybe for a week or away for a weekend, and we want to disable this function, i.e. we're not here, there's no point heating the water, we press this button here. The timer symbol has disappeared, the hot water will not come on. When you come back from your holiday or whatever, simply press the timer button like that. Timer is now back on and you're back into our timer settings. Another useful function for the hot water is if you run out of hot water and you, and you need extra, this button here, press and hold this button in and you will see two symbols flash up on the screen shortly. There we go. What that will do is that will heat your hot water up rapidly. Once it's done that, it automatically resets. So you can just go like that, walk away, forget about it. It will heat your hot water and reset to the timer. I'm just going to turn that off because we don't need it on. At the moment. Hot water temperature is controlled by this button here. So when I press that, you can see that the hot water is set to 50 perfect temperature for a heat pump try to run it at that temperature it minimizes the use of the electric immersion heater therefore saving you money you can if you wish turn it up but i wouldn't recommend that leave it at 50 it's plenty hot enough so there you go that's how to set the timer change the temperature on the hot water on your daking controller so next we're going to look at our control for our heating system. It's controlled by this thermostat here. So the information I see on the screen at the moment tells me there's a demand for heating at the moment. There's a little flame. We have the time. We have the current room temperature. So to set the timer, 
and press this button here. And it says, you can see it says Monday to Friday, so we're going to program those days. Press this button here. So 5.30 a.m. in the morning, we adjust with this one, as you can see, to whatever time you wish. And when we're happy with the time, we press that one and we set the temperature, which is whatever you like. We're going for 21 here. When you're happy with the temperature, we press this button again. It's 7.30 in the morning. We can adjust the time again with this one. When we're happy, we press this one and we set the temperature. When we're happy, we press that one. You can see the time here, 11.35. We can adjust that to whatever we like. When we're happy, we press that one and then we can adjust the temperature that we're asking for. 16 degrees, when we're happy, press that one again. So we've now got 22 minutes past two in the afternoon. Again, you can change this to whatever you like. When you're happy, press this one. And you can now adjust whatever temperature you want. We've set for 19, we're happy. Press that one again, 4.30 in the afternoon. Again, it's adjustable to whatever you like. And when you're happy, press that one. You can then adjust the temperature to whatever you like. When you're happy with that, press that one. 10 o'clock at night, bedtime sort of-ish. Set that time to whatever you like. When you're happy, press that one. And then you can adjust the temperature overnight temperature, which here is 18. And when you're happy with that, you press that one. There we have Saturday and Sunday have popped up. So we've got the same thing going on here. So at 3.30 in the morning, Adjust the time here, when you're happy, press this one, you can adjust the temperature. When you're happy, you press that one. Again, the time here, you can adjust to whatever, press that one, you can now adjust the temperature to whatever we would like. When we're happy, press that one again, we can now, the next time, when we're happy, press that one again, we can now do the temperature. When we're happy with that, Press that one again, we can now adjust the time. And when we're happy with that, we can then do the temperature. And once again, that one again, we can now do the next time, change it to whatever we like. And then that one again, we can do the temperature to whatever we like. Press that one again, this is the last action of the day. Change it to what we like. And when we're happy with that, we can do the temperature again. And then when we're happy with that, press that one last time. And we're back to the beginning times set. Thank you very much.